How to set up your first website on Hostin, or to be precise, a WordPress blog. I have separately wrote a review about this hosting, if you're interested on knowing more about the hosting company first please, take some times reading before proceed. Since now most of the hosting company, including Hostins provide softwares to ease installation of popular apps like the WordPress, Drupal and such. Installing these apps are just the matters of inputting clicks, is just that simple. So let's get started. On this video, I will walk you through purchasing a shared hosting plan, to integrating a domain to your hosting then get a WordPress blog installed. First, decide how many website you would like to create, whether you need a bigger plan or something. Decide and select. Select the option provided regarding domain name. If you want to register a website name or domain name on Hostin, select I want Hostins to register a new domain for me. If you would like to get a free domain name from Hostins, but the domain extension are limited to .site, .online, .store, .tech, and .website select I want Hostins to register a new free domain for me. If you would like to transfer your existing domain to Hostins, I believe you will never do. Select I want to transfer my domain to Hostins. If you already have an existing domain name on other domain registrar, select I will update the name servers on my existing domain. If you would like to create a subdomain out from Hostins as provided domain, select I will use a free subdomain, please note you're not the ultimate owner of this domain, so in case if the domain expired, your subdomain will be vanished too. Then, choose your billing cycle, whether you want to be binded on a 3-year contract or be billed monthly. My suggestion is, watch my review. Select server location. Optional additional services like positive SSL, spam filters. I don't see both are necessary though. Confirm the hosting plan you're about to purchase. Select your payment method. Fill up your personal information for account registration. Agree and confirm. This is the order confirmation page. Two emails will be sent to your account. One is the activation email and another is an invoice. Activate your email. Dashboard is empty because you have not complete the payment. Open the invoice link on another email. Click PayPal checkout or PayPal subscribe, either one. A while later Hostins will send you your hosting information including the name server. If you bought the domain name separately from Hostins like me, I use Namecheap. Proceed to your domain setting. Change the name server Hostins provided. The verification progress takes quite a while. After a few hours, the order is ready. This is the dashboard, and this is the hosting plan I've purchased. There are a few ways to install WordPress. Manually, by Softaculous or by Easy Install an app developed by Hostins. With Easy Install an app, could be accessed through Clients Panel. You're able to install over hundreds of apps with a few clicks, just like how Softaculous works. To install it on cPanel, click on the WordPress icon listed on the Features Applications. Click Install this application. Configurate the setting. Select the right domain to install. Version of the app. Accept the license agreement. Automatic update for WordPress to the latest version. Automatic update for WordPress plugin and WordPress theme. I recommend it update them manually because there are cases you're the format of your website get messed up when updated. Two-factor authentication. Do you want to enable it? Enabling this feature will require both your phone and web password to be granted on access to the web panel. Limit login attempts. Limit login attempts is a security plugin that prevent brutal force password by limiting their login attempt. Three wrong password and you will get locked out. Continue. Click this link. And welcome to WordPress admin panel. This is where you configurate and manage your blog. Bookmark this page. Hope this help and thanks for watching.